Episode 10, Ghost is on the go. Giddy up, go. <laughs> We're seeing Maine. So we started out in Bar Harbor. And guess what? We got to sail on another ship. And of course, we get to help raise the sails. I think it's one of the best parts about going on these sailing cruises is raising the sails. This one was hard to raise. <laughs> She's giving me instructions there. Use, she, use your muscles there. She had to show you how to be a use man. Use your elbow grease. Yes. <laughs> this was the biggest sailboat we've been on, 151 feet. It was, so, and it has red sails like you saw there. Red sails in the sunset. Margaret Todd was the name of this ship. Uh, this was a very hot day, oh. um, even by any standards, but in Maine it's especially hot. It was 8 a.m. when we went on this cruise here. We were out in the streets at 8 a.m., got on the cruise at 9. Mm -hmm. And there's a whale. There was a minky whale. Um, one of the our passengers along with us, he actually fainted before he got on the boat. He yes, was, we was didn't so think hot. he was going to make it, but uh, he, he made the cruise. And we got a tour on an old-fashioned trolley back into Acadia National Park. We actually had checked out of our campground of Acadia Park, but we went back up there on a trolley to have the, the grand tour. Um, got to hear all about the park and do about three stops, which were just all too short. <laughs> this is a place called Thunder Hole because the uh, waves make a sound like thunder in a little hole in the rock. And I just love the colors um, of the ocean. This is up on Cadillac, Cadillac Mountain, Mountain, which is the tallest peak in Acadia National Park. 1,530 feet. We were trying to make it even taller. <laughs> and now we are heading down the coast of Maine. Of course, there are lobsters, lobsters everywhere. The attack of the giant lobster. And we stopped in Portland and got to do a beaten path tour, which was wonderful. I almost wish we had done this the very first thing we when we arrived in Maine. It gave us a great overview of Maine history and Portland as well, of course, um, but really just all about Maine and interesting facts that I never knew. We ended up down at the uh, fish pier market. by the, the fish market, the lobster boats you saw there, and here they are selling lobsters and fish. And uh, we learned a lot about the lobster trade in Maine. It is the main source of income. <laughs> and you, you saw lobster buoys when we were on the sailboat cruise. Lots of lobster buoys out there. Each lobster man or person can have up to 800 lobster traps. But it is quite a lottery to get into it. You yes. almost have to be uh, grandfathered in. You have to be an apprentice before you can become a lobsterman. Uh, it is an, a lot of hard work. And their buoys are color coded so they know whose yep. is whose. Yep. And this is my new buddy. He's doing yoga. He was just stretching out. He was very angry about being in the other uh, guy's hands. He was but, doing kung fu in his but, hands. Yeah, but he liked <laughs> me. He was my buddy. <laughs> uh, so that was a lot of fun. And guess what? We're going on another sail cruise. But this one is a <laughs> sunset cruise out of Portland, the Portland Schooner Company. And. Uh, it's a nice, peaceful ride. They don't tell you a lot of information on this one. They do just take you out and let you enjoy the peace and quiet, unless you're sitting next to a kid that won't be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and out in Casco Bay, it's called, there are uh, islands, and on these islands are a couple of old forts. And we grabbed our dinner for this oh, yes, cruise. <laughs> very good sandwich shop there in Portland. We got some excellent yes. sandwiches. Vegetarian. Vegetarian sandwiches there. Uh, we, I, we don't eat the lobster. <laughs> I, I, I thought the uh, I thought the, I thought the, the way the menu was very creative. The, the way the sandwiches were designed. We were lucky because we were kind of worried about finding some food, but we found some. We didn't have time to run back to the RV and grab our dinner like we intended to. Now there's one of those old forts. This this fort was built in 1858, and it was never actually used because it became obsolete by the time it was finished. <laughs> A uh, lot of these uh, wind jammer schooner cruises out there on the bay, and it, I think it just makes a beautiful photo, photogenic, photogenic, photographic. People are photogenic. I don't think <laughs> sailboats are photogenic. Sailboats photographic are. views. Uh, and this is Bug Light. It's called Bug Light, or Portland Breakwater Lighthouse, and it was built in 1855. It, it's the only lighthouse in the country that was designed after Greek architecture. It has columns on it, like uh, Greek architecture. 
And here we are in Kennebunk Port. Heading back south. And this is almost to the border of New Hampshire. And this time, what? It's not a sailboat? This is oh. a different kind of boat. Those seats look kind of like saddles, and there's a reason for that. You'll see very shortly. It was like, well, we will, it's coming up here. But nice little peaceful ride out. One of these boats docked here belongs to former President George Bush, and it's easy to spot because right behind it is the Secret Service boat. How do we know? Because it says Secret, Secret. Service on the it's side. It's a black boat with white letters, Secret Service. Okay, once we got out in the open water, our pilot Woo! gunned it. He got up to 55 miles per hour. We were rocking and rolling. There's those seats. Looks like a horse you have to ride. And boy, it doesn't feel like it. We were saying we were in training for uh, riding a bull. Yeah. There were times when this boat literally came all the way up off the water and yes. flopped you back down. Yes. Uh, we, we did pause to see some more minke whales. I don't think we got a good photo of them on this cruise, but we did see some. Um, they, they just come up and go down so quick. They're yeah. really hard to photograph. And this area without houses is the Rachel Carson Wildlife Preserve, named after, of course, Rachel Carson. And next to it are places with houses, but, but that is a, a preserve without any development. I was lucky. I got to trade seats with the lady in front. Uh, she didn't want to go on the front when we were going super fast and I did so we had a great time we made some good friends new friends on the way and but this lady sitting next to me was a blast we had so much fun riding the uh, the buzzworthy <laughs> at full velocity we, we got a look at two lighthouses one of them was the Nubble lighthouse which we'd seen before and this one the Boone Lighthouse, you hardly see it all. Very few people see it from land yeah. because it's six miles out. Yeah. Here we are, six miles out from shore on this tiny little island. And a lot of interesting stories about this yes, lighthouse. There have been shipwrecks galore here, said to be haunted. Yeah, it's very hard to man. None yeah. of the light keepers wanted to stay out here. Um, we were very, very harsh conditions. We were greeted by seals, hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. Guard. It was hard to, to get good video of them because they do kind of blend in with the rocks, but they are everywhere, just lounging around. This is their resting spot. They don't have to work too hard. They can just sit here and when they're not out fishing for their little dinner. This lighthouse is 133 feet tall. It is the tallest lighthouse in all of New England. And it was built in 1855, just like the other one we saw. And here we are zooming back to Cannabunk Port, <laughs> leaving our little lighthouse Hello. behind. I love lighthouses. They're just, they're so cool. We've taken uh, several tours by boat, but this was the first thrill ride tour. I, 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 yeah, um, uh, hands down, I love this much better than doing a sailboat. The <laughs> captain was a very interesting character too. He, uh, he'd been around for a while, he used to be a diver. And he told about falling off his boat once in the middle of winter and having to strip off his clothes on a little <laughs> island and swim 200 yards without his clothes on to get to his boat. He said he saw one of his lives pass that night. <laughs> so we heard many interesting stories. Maine was wonderful. I cannot wait to go back. There's still so much more I want to do. But coming up, we are uh, heading towards New York. But on the way, we're going to stop in Providence and we're going to take you to Water Fire in our next video. So we'll catch you on the next video. Make sure you do subscribe tap that bell to make sure that you are notified when we have a new video out and we'll catch you on the flip side see you later